Hi there, this is Alvin from Dr. Wealth. Sets have been talking about this big acquisition of a cargo handling company and it needs billions of dollars and that's why they're talking about rights issue for many months. Finally, we have the details and if you're a shareholder of Sets, you definitely want to watch this because I will explain to you what you can do and hopefully you have a better understanding and make a better decision by the end of this video. So the very first thing that we know is that the rights price is fixed at $2.20 per share. So it's not free, which means that for every rights that you are going to exercise, you are going to pay $2.20 for that additional share. And in terms of the allotment ratio, you are going to get 323 rights shares for every 1,000 shares of sets that you own. So it is based on this ratio to calculate the actual allotment that you're actually going to get. But you have a problem with this because it's in an odd lot size, right? 323 right shares. A round lot is 100 shares. So you end up with an excess of 23 shares if you have 1,000 shares. So what can you do with this? So I'll give you a few options and for you to consider. The very first option is that you can subscribe by rounding down to the nearest lot size. So for example, if you are allotted 323 shares, right shares, you can take up the 300 shares and give up the 23 shares. Okay, so that would make that out lot problem disappear and so on and so forth, right? You just round down to the nearest round lot. If you have 646, take up 600. If you have 969, take up 900. Okay, so it depends on how many allotment shares you got. You just round it down to the nearest 100 shares. You will be able to do away with this unlock problem. Option number two, you can round up instead of round down because in any rights issue, you're able to subscribe for more rights. The only issue is that it is not guaranteed after your allotment size. So for example, uh, if you have 323 allotment, you want to subscribe to 400, right? You round up to the nearest lot size. You can also round up to 500 if you want to, right? So there is no limit on upside. The only downside is that the from 323 to 400, the excess 77 shares is not guaranteed that you will get it even if you have paid for it. Okay, of course, you'll refund if you don't get a full allotment. And how it works is that other shareholders need to give up their rights. Okay, they don't subscribe to it. They have excess one to redistribute to those who want more. So it is not guaranteed in that case. So for example, maybe from 323, you do get some excess rights. You uh, end up with 388 shares. Um, you will still end up with a all lot problem of 88 shares, right? So that is the risk if you round up for this option. Okay, but definitely you will get whatever you, allo you were allocated. Option number three, you can combine this with option one. Okay, so, um, but let's talk about option three first, which means that you can sell the rights in the open market. So this is a renounceable rights issue, which means the rights will be traded on SGX for a window, for a period of time, maybe for two weeks, and it will have a ticker name of like SATSR or SATS. R. The R indicate that they are, you are trading the rights, not the mother share. Okay, so the rights issue would have a price to it, and you can sell it if you do not want to subscribe to it. So, for example, you are given 323 rights shares, you can sell this 323 rights shares if you do not have intention to subscribe to any of the rights. So, due to the rights issue, your value of the shares will drop. By selling this right share, you get some proceeds to defray the losses in the original shareholding that you have. So that is how a renounceable rights issue works. But the problem is, it depends on whether people want to buy your right share. Because if there isn't enough people to buy your right share, you may not be able to liquidate that rights. You may not be able to get the proceeds to defray your losses. Right? But nonetheless, you can sell the rights shares as per how you sell a normal stock. And of course, the commission will apply as well. So how do you combine this option three with option one is that we talked about you can round down the nearest lot size to subscribe. So the example that we gave was that you can subscribe to 300 shares and the additional 23 right shares, you can sell it in open market. Okay, so you can get back some proceeds over there. So you can combine option one and option three together. And option four is to do nothing. That means you neither want to subscribe, you neither want to sell the right shares. But let me warn you, this is the worst option. Okay, because this is neither here nor there. Usually, to me, rights issue is very binary in terms of the decision. Right? If you want to hold the stock, it is better that okay, you should subscribe to all the rights that's allocated to you. Because if you don't, the percentage ownership of the company will decrease. Right? Because the number of shares that you have in the company stays the same, while other shareholders increase their number of shares. So your percentage naturally will fall. And that also means that your 
future sharing of dividends or profits will be lower as well, right? So that's not very ideal. If you do not wish to subscribe to the rights, it also means that you are not very confident about the business. You may not have enough faith in the acquisition. Then in that case, maybe it's better off that you sell off the mother share altogether, right? So you get out of the entire position uh, and don't take the rights as well. So either way, I believe that you should subscribe or you sell the shares altogether. <laughs> So usually the rights issue, the logic points me to make either these two decisions, right? Either subscribe or you don't, you sell it. Okay, don't go in between and I think that is the most suboptimal option that you will pursue. And you have to decide soon because the share price will drop on 1st March of 2023. If you decide to sell, it's better to sell before this, before you even get the rights allocated to you. Because 1st March is the X right day. That is the day where they decide who gets the rights and who doesn't. So if you sell it before X rights, you will not get the rights. If you sell after the X right, you will still get the rights. Okay, so that is why the share price will drop to account for the rights that were given to the existing shareholders. So you get a better idea of what are options out there as a shareholder, what you can do. Okay, so ultimately the decision lies with you, right? So I'm just giving you uh, some of my views and hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel so that you'll not miss another analysis like this and make your life easier as an investor. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.